And welcome back. A vicious attack in their own home, forcing federal judge Susan DeLott and former attorney Stan Chesley to run through the woods for their own safety. Unbelievable story. Not on your sides. Julie O'Neill spoke with Judge DeLott just a short time ago. Julie joins us live now from Indian Hill. Julie, what's the story? Yeah, Judge DeLott uh, at home tonight with her recovering husband. She spoke with me just briefly earlier. She's very upset and worried about him. He has serious injuries. Judge DeLott herself wearing slippers uh, in court today as she went back to work with her injuries, uh, suffering cuts to her feet after running barefoot through a mile of woods to get help late Friday night. She and her husband were brutally brutally attacked. Michelle Young was federal judge Susan DeLott's first law clerk, now a neighbor of hers and husband Stan Chesley's. Horrified by what happened at their mansion, confronted in their bedroom late at night by three armed men. Stan, who is a gentle and, and lovely neighbor, he has three breaks of bones in his thoracic spine and his pelvis is broken and he has a concussion. And they were both pushed around. This was not just a robbery, it was a violent home invasion. At some point, Indian Hill Rangers say the three suspects were distracted by a beeping noise after DeLott opened a garage door and DeLott made a run for it. She ran an entire mile through the woods in the cold in a nightgown. And when she arrived at a neighbor's house, she suddenly realized there was blood on the ground because. She'd run so far bare feet um, that her feet were bleeding. And today she's on the bench, but she can't wear her shoes. If we lost her, which we would have, but for smart thinking on her part that night and a few coincidences, we would have lost one of the great civil rights judges of our time. It is because of Susan DeLott that we have community policing here and modeled across the nation. She structured that agreement. Young says Judge DeLott uh, and Stan Chesley have been told not to talk until this goes to the grand jury, which should be within the next 10 days. Uh, in the meantime, tonight at 7, more details from Indian Hill Rangers about how this whole home invasion robbery came to be um, and how they were targeted. That's coming up tonight at 7. In Indian Hill, I'm Julie O'Neill. We'll send it back to you.